Hi everybody, I hope you're keeping safe and well. I, I'm back again. Uh, this time something quite different. Um, given the fact that we now can go out um, and take unlimited exercise and drive out in our car, for the first time in seven weeks I actually managed to get out and draw in the landscape in the moorlands uh, out in Saddleworth. So this was wonderful and what I want to do today is to share with you some of the very quick drawings I did out there on the moorlands focusing on some cotton grass uh, but then I want to show you how I take that into developing those drawings into some more uh, drawings within the studio setting. Uh, so I had a limited uh, amount of material with me. I had this uh, small sketchbook which is a sea white with me and I had uh, three coloured pencils um, and I also had some soft uh, a 2B and a 6B pencil. So uh, I managed to do these three sketches. Uh, this is the first of them. Um, and really what I was trying to do was gestural mark making out in the landscape and really get a sense of the um, uh, what these plants were actually doing, these cotton grasses. They were billowing in the wind, the light was catching them and I was just literally trying to get the airy nature of them. Um, the strappy, um, all over the place uh, uh, lines of, of, the, uh, of, the grass, uh, of the grasses and then these seed heads trying to, or the, the flowers themselves, just trying to get a sense of, of them and how they were billowing in the wind. Really simple stuff and I was just really just trying to kind of capture that energy and do it in quite a playful way so these just took me a few minutes to do. So this is the first of them. And then um, I, what I wanted to do as well, because this was just one clump, in the next drawing I kind of wanted to get a sense of how they were forming this sort of field in the landscape. Um, so all of the dots here represent the clumps um, going across the landscape and hopefully you can see how you've got these clumps in the foreground and then as they kind of go into the distance they get smaller and, and less detailed. And I was just trying to get the kind of overall energy of the of, of, of these clumps sort of billowing in the wind and the strappiness of the um, grasses uh, themselves and then a sense of the, of the dotty uh, flower heads, seed heads. Um, then I did a final drawing which again was going back mainly to look at one clump um, but then I wanted to do some detail of the flower heads so and this time I was using pencil so I was using two different pencils a softer one and a harder one a 2B and a 6B and I was just trying to kind of get really loosely the energy of the clumps and the way all the grasses were going and strapping all over the place and all of this arching going on um, and these, these uh, sort of random kind of um, pieces that sort of sticking out all over the place and then the sort of solidness of the clumps really and how the shadow was hitting those sort of solid clumps and then the flower heads and then I kind of zoomed in to just look here um, at the kind of the, the fluffiness of the flower heads really so that's more of a kind of a contour and combining that with some texture um, rather than the gestural effects of, of these. Um, so that's all I wanted to share with you from my sketchbooks and um, I'm going to now show you um, some, some sort of uh, drawings I'm going to do um, from these uh, and from memory. So here I am in the studio, even albeit the home studio, and I have a paintbrush because it's the longest piece of thing I've got, stick I've got, uh, with some charcoal taped on it. And I'm actually closing my eyes and I'm going to try and simulate the feelings and the, 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 the imag imagined grass uh, sort of I have in my mind from yesterday's experience. So I'm literally going to start now and I have no idea. Um, I know I want to try and simulate this sort of overarching of the of the front and I want to kind of do some sort of strappy lines that ref reflect so I've kind of got my eyes closed I have got them closed so I'm opening them to make sure I'm not going onto the wall I'm literally trying to simulate what I remember as being the grasses and the arching and the sort of density of um, some of the sort of central points of the 
thing. And then um, I want to try and get some of the flower heads in. So I'm going to try and, and do that. And I'm trying to sort of imagine as I'm going, I've got my eyes closed now, and I'm imagining these sort of very sort of stylized, very sort of, not exactly diamond shape, but that sort of thing. And I remember them being, when the, when the, the arching stems, I remember them being really strong clusters of groups of these heads. And then I remember down sort of closer on in the foreground, I remember these ones that seemed to be quite a lot bigger because they were closer to me. Um, and then I remember the field in the distance and lots of sort of clumps of them. I hope that makes some sense. Now I want to kind of um, try and build up this one, this central one here. I open my eyes and I can kind of see now, ooh, interesting, because um, I have my eyes closed for that. Now I'm going to carry on with that sort of approach, um, but I can see here I want to make that a bit more sort of not as dense, so I'm going to sort of smudge that in. And I'm now sort of coming in with my eyes open and I'm, a, I'm wanting to sort of build on this one. And I'm wanting to kind of create some more of this, this sort of arch and more of these heads that seem like they were quite a lot of close to me so they were but they were sort of quite light and so I'm going to try and put those now this is, is the density of things but they're not so that's the tangle of that, and there's this head flower, but they are all quite dense, so that's what that represents. So, that is a kind of a start point, but I want to kind of get a feel for this being really solid in the middle. And then it kind of really trailing. And then these, they're kind of going off. And they're going off. So I'm back and I'm now wanting to put some paint onto it. It's just it's just literally a mark making exercise. I'm not trying to make it into a painting or anything, but I'm just using some paint to try and get some light into it. And I'm using this cleaning brush to try and get a sense of the feathery. But I don't really know where I'm putting it because I have got my eyes closed. So I'm just hoping for the best really. And I'm trying to get a sense of the flower heads and their featheriness or fluffiness I should say and that's what I'm trying to do. Um, now in terms of the what I'm wanting to do is trying to get something here and now I've got some I can just looking at that colour I want to try and get some sense of the bigger flowers, um, which might not actually work, but I'm probably going to just use this to get some sense of the lines. So now I want to just come back in 
um, maybe with some charcoal actually, um, just to try and get a sense. I'm going to use a really big chunky charcoal um, because it will stop you being too precious with it. Um, oh, I can use a smaller one. I have got a smaller one. I'm just trying to get it from the box here. So, um, so now I'm wanting to try and get a sense of the feathering of the flower heads. Probably isn't m making much of a mark because of the fact that it's paint on here. I can feel it sort of not it's resisting me from making marks. And it seems to be scratching off some of it. I'm starting to open my eyes so I can actually get something quite specific in down here. So it's starting to get to look, to have this variety um, that I was trying to get in terms of the lines. You see, as soon as I'm opening my eyes, I'm, I know I'm getting more sort of precious with it. Oops. So it's much better when you've got your eyes closed and you don't really you kind of are feeling so. Now I'm shutting them again. So I'm wanting to get some of these arching leaves. And I'm wanting again to kind of reinstate some of this going on. Um... And I think I'm going to leave it there. I don't want it. Oh, we do. So I'm starting to try and get the feeling of those knotty tangles of arching grasses and some of the heads going into the distance. 